vacations. They're a week or, for our European audience, a two-month diversion from the stresses of the hustle and bust of a soul-eating Evans job. It's where feats are kicked back, the island beat takes over, and you can scream at a service worker guilt-free because you won't see them ever again. Oh, and speaking of vacations, I bet our good friend Todd Groban could use one. <laughs> That's right, tricked ya. This isn't the irreverent cold open of the podcast you're used to hearing. This is the highly reverent ad for Todd Groban's Going Away Party, presented by Channel Flux, a muscular clown product. Are you a connoisseur of comedic contemplations? Are you into beautifully shot, handsomely edited, blurred faced plant seedings? Maybe you want to seize the day for 10 minutes by laughing your kidneys out in a tub of ice. Did your sexual awakening happen while thumbing through Thea Thluith? Maybe you're craving a film noir with more twists than my nipples in middle school when I awoke to mine own hand, squeezing my pubescent puffies through an Aqua Teen Hunger Force shirt late in the eve. Or maybe you just love to support indie artists, guests of our show, or Marshland Monsters comedy songs? Well, that means Todd Groban's Going Away Party on YouTube is for you. And hey, if you need to relax after a week of auto shop work and kicking the crap out of incompetent villainous biker gangs, look no further than Todd Groban. But baby, my name is James. I'm Nicole. And this is Mostly, Mostly Speaking Sentai. Oh, guys, it's mostly speaking the Sentai. And uh, guess what? If you're riding a bike, watch out for other people around you. Unlike uh, me on my scooter, I was looking out for someone. But guess what? Someone ran into me on my scooter once, and it was a person, and then he yelled at me. I think he uh, called me the C-word, or I caught... <laughs> knowing me, I called him the C-word. Uh, bye-bye, mister. Whoopsie poopsies. Ooh, whoopsie poopsie Which indeed. C-word? Uh, cunt, baby. Oh, my least favorite. Oh, your least favorite <laughs> is what I think our guest said, but Nicole, yeah. I pulled my groin, but not my yep. Groban today, is Gross. all about Todd Groban, and better believe that's going to be the episode title, Todd Groban's Going Away Party, with our guest, or unless, do you have anything to, to talk about? steal all of their traffic. <laughs> yeah, oh no, to gain them traffic. <laughs> Guys, we don't have any traffic to steal. It's fine. <laughs> no, no, no. Neither do we? <laughs> oh, Yay! Uh, luckily, uh, we know traffic safety now. Oh, Yo, the so episode. We're going to freaking ride bikes right into Todd Grobin's, and Todd Grobin is going to ride into the stars of number 41 trending on YouTube. Oh, that'd be really only. good. Yeah. That's like 100,000 views. Yeah, that's like a, you know, a well, high school fight. No, oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Guys, you got to go on MySpace and search <laughs> Reese Puffer, a high school fight. Mm -hmm. You'll find some good ones if MySpace? they're still there. Yeah. Okay. Because on YouTube, they'd get, the principal would tell them to take it yeah. down. <sighs> Fuck them principals. Yeah, MySpace isn't afraid of your principal. Yeah, baby. On, like, YouTube. Jesus. Yeah. And you could do private on MySpace. You had to be their friend. wonder if principals would make fake accounts like, chill skater, dude, and then <laughs> <laughs> Nicole almost spit out her coffee. But, guys, Tony Hawk Pro <laughs> Skater, 4, 5, and 666, six, six, the devil's number. Oh, and speaking of devils, we have someone who's devilishly handsome and- Frank? And, no. Yep. That's just offensive to our guest, oh. Nikki Jaker. I didn't say Frank he wasn't. Is I was handsome. asking if it was Frank. No, I'm talking about our guest. Frank's a host of this show. Oh. But, Nicole, do you have anything to talk about before we get to our guest? Uh, someone on eBay sent me a question asking if we had an issue of a comic that had a certain penal. <laughs> and I just like at first glance thought it legitimately was penal and they wanted me to either send or receive dick pics yeah, until baby. I realized it was panel. <laughs> panel flipped backwards is penal. Real exciting. Because it could have been that Batman comic. Exactly. With the penis? Yeah. 
that is it it's a silhouette of his penis right uh it's <laughs> like batman it's mostly in the shadows oh Ooh. i mean the watchman went full on yeah with mr manhattan yeah blue uh, wiener we had a signing at the shop with brian azarello i can't remember if that was the writer or the artist but i said i was gonna go up to the artist and uh and just go nice nice you should have. You think he's still getting that this many years after he really drew that? No, that was that was this, this year. year. Oh, we were talking about. I was thinking of the Watchmen. We're talking oh, about oh no, 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 sorry, no, no. no. the first. So you you had the guy uh, who drew Batman's wiener in there. Mm-hmm. The that's, first he drew the honor. first appearance of Bruce Wang. Nice. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hashtag Bruce Wang. Oh, guys, you got to get your Rule 34s when they're actually reality now. They censored it out of the, Reissues. the hardcover. Yeah, it was fucking yeah. bullshit. Fuck. No, they never put out a second printing. Oh, dang. No, so that, Yeah, it was fucking stupid. That's very rare now. Yeah. I mean, they printed up a bunch. It was annoying. And Nicole bought like 20 of them and she's selling them on eBay. Ooh, Definitely I'll take one. Didn't. I've thought about like speculating, but then I was like... It's too much effort. Oh, you sh- also shouldn't say that as a employee of a comic book store. I'm not going to do it. Oh, uh, she might, though. Spec selling. Oh, guys, just buy up a bunch of tickets to the Justin Bieber concert and sell them at 20% hiked up prices. Not like the Miles Morales Carnage crossover. Like, obviously, that's something that I would get. Or like the Spider-Man stuff they release with the new characters in it. Yeah. 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 I had to turn up Nicole. She was talking a little quiet. I'm sorry. But, ooh, speaking of carnage and dick pics, oh, man. On Todd Groban's going away party. That is a good segue. Our guest (laughs) went to town on some plants, leaving a carnage of semen in his wake. We have Melzer back. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, that is the best introduction I've ever been given. Yes, yes. Your scenage Um, brings destruction. Was it obvious that that was me in that scene? Yeah. Okay. We tried to blur my face. Uh, Hey, you can blur it all you'd like, but we know that jerk off motion anywhere. (laughs) Wow, I am lost. (laughs) You don't remember that scene? No. Hey guys, today we're talking exclusively about Todd Groban's going away party on YouTube channel Flux. That's Flux with two X's. DX, baby. Do them chops. Chop, chop. Ooh, oh, see that jerk off motion? This one? Yeah. That's a little different than the one I did in the... But it's two-handed. You gotta... You... Oh yeah, I was... There were two people next to me in yeah. that scenario, yeah. Or your your penises are on your thighs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. those knee dicks. Ooh. Was it wearing during the the videos? Yes. Yeah. In in the how to behave episode. Yes. Um, yeah. We did a Harvey Weinstein, and um, I no one would do it on set, like so best. I ended up doing it. God, I wish I was on set. I would have done that, ah. and you wouldn't have had to blur anything <laughs> yeah, <he> out. <laughs> I still would have. <laughs> Actually, uh, any time because there's a few times there's penises in, in the show. Uh, they're always the same uh, PNG of a hot dog. <laughs> with a bun and, and oh, relish you, and everything. Oh. We just blur it until it doesn't look like a hot dog anymore. Because I, I didn't want to put a <laughs> I was wiener thinking in it. you'd have a strap on that just goes underneath your pants. That's what I thought it was. Oh, no. Okay. Guys, we're getting behind yeah. the scenes footage. Whoa. The making of. So our fans, if you've, been, yeah, <laughs> if you've been listening to all of our episodes... Back in February, Melzer was on promoting yeah. this, and that's what this is, guys. Yeah, it's out now. Yeah, baby. What episode comes out Wednesday? Uh, Wednesday uh, comes out our action crime episode. Every episode is a different genre, and this one's called The Hasted and the Trampled. It is the IT crowd is playing a game of our knockoff, legally different version of Magic the Gathering. At the party, and uh, one of our sales members, someone from the sales team who used to play that game, ends up getting back into a life he once left. Oh, yeah. And it's like Fast and the Furious. Yep. Oh, man. And just what's the soundtrack of this episode? (laughs) Oh, yeah. Good time. There's a very impressive song by someone you might have heard of before. Ooh. Um, (laughs) Someone who's once been said that their music is 
Better than it has to be? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, in the next CD I put out, the cover <laughs> will have oh. better than it has to be in parentheses underneath Sean Marciniak. <laughs> <laughs> I think it should just be the title of your album. Oh, uh, yeah. Do a fucking like Bruce Springsteen oh with like one bandana looking Ooh. back over your shoulder. Better than it needs to be. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I should do that. I do want to do one called Screaming Until I'm Heard. Or song. I also, that one was going to be originally called songs to make my dad disappointed oh because it was just gonna be disgusting horrorcore god that's amazing ellipses oh my and my mom proud yeah. Ooh, <laughs> punching up my jokes Ooh. constantly that's why this relationship twerks because i'm throwing punches left and right nicole just made fist motions and fist like cuffs it looked like she was Getting sexual with it. Fisting a vampire. <laughs> yeah, baby. Fisting vampires. <laughs> there is an episode of GMM that came out today where Adam Lambert was on and he had- His hand was covered in garlic. And he was like, ooh, perfect for fisting vampires. <laughs> oh. But they left it it's in. It's like a family show. <laughs> I was like, how did? why didn't they like censor that out? It could be punching a vampire in no, it. No, it's not. Uh, yeah. I don't want to- self-reference but in street wizard we have a pretty great fisting monologue it's one of my favorite moments of that whole show and where then can they find that uh, you can find that on amazon prime oh, the street yeah. wizard's apprentice a different series for free guys after you watch todd groban yes yes after you watch todd groban on youtube on the channel channel flux yeah guys and i would bring up morph bots but this is all todd groban <laughs> What about patreon.com slash ranger command ph? No, we can't. No, it needs to be youtube.com okay, forward slash channel flux two X's. Sorry, sorry, sorry. X squared. Is it, is that the channel? Is it youtube.com forward slash channel flux? I'd be really weird if it wasn't. Yeah, it's, guys. The channel flux is their everything. Okay. Let's fingers crossed, they but it will be brand. in the description. Description. You want to know else who knows how to brand? Minoru when he's squeezing them nipples, branding that cow. Oh! Okay. So do you? Uh, will we get into the show now, or do would you Never. like to talk more about Todd Groban? Um, yeah, I guess if anyone, you know, obviously no one really knows about it. Uh, but we entered a contest two years ago. Uh, that was like the contest was running out of time. We had twenty four hours to come up with a show idea. Uh, and if you won, you got a little bit of money for a pilot. And then if you would compete with, I think we compete with six other pilots, you get a little bit of money to do a series. And we came with the idea of doing a show that would be one bad corporate party, but every episode would have a different character having a different night. So different, it would be like a different genre, but always kind of connecting back to something petty that office people at a, a corporate sponsored party with a lot of alcohol would get into. Uh, and then we won all that. So the last two years of my life has been making this show um, and it's been coming out recently. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And we got to see the premiere of it. And yeah. it of course. is yeah, you contributed. Uh, it's so fucking good, man. Thank you. It's front to back. Perfect. It guys fucking watch it. It's so <laughs> good. It's super good, guys. Well, thank you. Yeah. Well, we, we set out to do it. We were like, we don't want another Chicago comedy web series where it's just people talking in apartments and it's really not that. Oh, not at all. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah, it gets fucking weird. Do you want to <laughs> since each episode is a different genre, do you want to go down some of the genres you do? Oh, yeah. So I think the first one was uh we wanted to do like um like it was like, you know, a lot of corporate parties have hookups, so we were doing the mm -hmm. like awkward office hookup and then that quickly becomes more of a like yeah thriller horror uh we did an episode that was um all band of brothers and that was about the last call trying to get your friends out to go to like some another bar yeah. after the bar uh we did uh a noir one that one's really fucking weird i love that it's so good <laughs> um <laughs> We, we already mentioned we did a, like a full-on kind of like Fast and the Furious style crime one. Uh, With such low stakes, yet at the same time very high for some reason. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It, it gets really high by the end of it. <laughs> we just kept ratcheting that up. That was probably the episode that has the craziest effects to do. And, oh, speaking of getting really high, you guys must have been blitzed out of your mind coming up with this stuff. <laughs> well, one person <laughs> in the group pretty much always is. And oh, the rest nice. of us... 
No. Who? who? <laughs> oh, Drew. Drew. Drew is never not high. Drew, I don't think. Have we ever met Drew? I'll, I'll bring him on. He'd love this. Okay. Yes. Yeah. We got to get Drew. Yeah. Does Drew play any person in the show? Yes. So in the episode that you did the rap for, um, you'll notice a guy. There's like the speaking character who has two goons. Actually, every villain, there's a lot of villains, like, like kind of just escalates. It's kind of like a roller coaster. But every villain has two goons, and those two goons are me and Drew. Okay. Yeah, and then Drew's also on a shirt for um, uh, Broken Glass Scrotal Sack, uh, which is that one metal band that shows up in one episode. Okay. Yeah. We wanted, uh, b- but people get busy, we wanted just a month of Grobin, <laughs> and, uh, but people get busy, guys, yeah. and it's hard to schedule people to do a podcast. Certainly is. Yeah, especially with Frank around. He makes people being allergic. so cute. Oh, no. I, that uh, hasn't happened yet. Look at him being so such a good boy right now, just chilling, relaxing outside of the school. Oh, we're at 19 already. We got to get into this episode summary. Do it to it. But one final word about Todd Groban, which won't be the final word about Todd Groban, baby. Go watch it. Hashtag Todd Groban on Twitter at channel flux 2 x to let the people who made the gave money let them know you're a fan of it, baby. All right. You guys ready? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, Interrupt whenever. Okay. Today we watched episode 18 of Car Ranger entitled A Lying Heart Under Adjustment. Oh, baby. I need to adjust my neck. My back, but not my Todd Groban, because that show is more (laughs) perfect than me and Nicole walking along a windswept beach. I'm obviously in Zonetta's body, and the whole (laughs) beach is seen through VR. Oh, that's still going on. Yeah, it is. Uh, (laughs) Recently came to the conclusion that- Why not Reen's body, No, Zonetta, baby, because it's Car Ranger. What about Dapu's body? Oh, man, Nicole would fucking hate that. (laughs) (laughs) How old do you think Dapu is? Oh, uh- he reminds me of the little baby from the dinosaurs. Yes. So I'm going to say like uh, nine. Oh, what? <laughs> I did a vid. I just showed him my baby Sinclair mask. I Which did- is what he calls his penis. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, my uh, God. I, yeah, someone did once say I have a dino dick. So, uh, hey, it could be. Uh, I, I don't know what that means. I don't either. I would like. Your dick's extinct. <laughs> <laughs> no, he said it like looks like a dinosaur's. I don't a dinosaur's know. dick or looks like a dinosaur? A Those dinosaur's are two different dick? Things. I don't know. I would like him to come on the <laughs> he podcast. He was like, it's so huge. <laughs> I would like him to come on the podcast to explain himself. Who is this? Uh, my friend Dakota Rust. All right. No, that is made up. No, no. His real name is Dakota Rust. Have you ever met a Dakota Rust? Yeah, actually. Yeah, he dated right. her sister. All yeah. right. <laughs> yes. Is He's he so- like... A drifter cowboy? Uh, no. Pretty much. I mean, he, he's like a new age drifter cowboy. Like a neo yeah. bounty hunter. He's got hunter. long hair. He's kind of hippie. Loves Cottonmouth Kings, baby. d Loke. Drifter. I don't think that was the most. Skateboarder. <laughs> uh, he used to skate, I think. Yeah, he might skate still. He's got. He's a dad now. It's not might. like there's anything else to do in Muskegon. He saw me get a hand job, and afterwards he said, uh, my penis looks like a dinosaur's. I know we're always here to try to talk about some show we just watched, and yeah. then you always say something that is so mind-blowing about your life before I met you. Uh, hey. And that's all I want to talk about. And it's always something I've heard like 80 times already. <laughs> uh, well, I did bring up that, uh, so the Aqua Teen Hunger Force, like me rubbing my nipple, I once woke up, I was bunk beds with my brother, and I was on the top bunk and my brother was on the bottom bunk. This was middle school, and I woke up rubbing my nipple and just like really going at it. And I was like, oh, I need to stop this. I hope my brother didn't see. It was nighttime. He was sleeping. Let's fingers cross he didn't see that. Maybe that's why he doesn't talk to me still. <laughs> I doubt that's what it is. <laughs> but I don't know if that was supposed to close the idea that your life is more interesting than the show we just watched. No, it's not. It definitely expanded it. Uh, but how old do you think Dapu is? A baby? Uh, well, yeah, a baby like the dinosaur. Okay, we don't know how old he is. We just ask everyone that. Oh. All right, guys. That'll we'll have to figure that out for the last episode. Cut him in half. Count the rings. Yes, that's how we find out how old Franklin is with his little fingernails. But the whole <laughs> beach. Remember, we're talking about. I'm obviously in Zonetta's body, and the whole beach is seen through VR because beaches are gross. Swelts <laughs> are. 
peaches are close. <laughs> Talking about boobies, baby. Sure. Nicole and I's titties just pressing up against okay. each other. <laughs> nipple to nipple. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> was it? That was all ad wow. Uh, but what isn't gross is our Car Ranger friends on a much needed vacation after a brawl with the Bozak. I know a Bozak Nicole would love to brawl with. Crotch, because she could beat his soft body with her tender noodle arms. And guess what? I know a Bozak Melzer would love to brawl with. <laughs> Crotch as well, because his <laughs> arms are so far apart he couldn't possibly perform he intricate even... <laughs> tilts on GameCube controllers. Even using Meta Knight, hashtag broken character, Crotch is easily for the picking to get that record up, he w- baby. He wasn't even... In this episode, was Crotch he? was, yeah, for oh, a little okay. bit. I saw his name. Oh, yeah, in the lab. Yeah. Working in the lab late one night, Crotch made a Bozak with a marvelous fright. Spooky scary. Werewolf <laughs> Bar Mitzvah. Yeah. <laughs> What's up? I just love that song. Oh, Werewolf Bar Mitzvah or Monster Mash? Werewolf Bar Mitzvah. Okay, who you guys. Remember, those last two verses, if you hear it on YouTube, that's Childish Gambino singing that. Uh, where was I? Uh, uh oh. Uh, Fighting crotch. Yeah, ooh, guys, you gotta beat that crotch. But back to the car ranger on an island vacation. They're doing everything friends do on said vacations. Driving go-karts that totally brip. Appreciating <sighs> painted paper. Riding pony bareback. Mm. And squeezing teat. Oh, baby. But what the fudge is this? Dapu was left out of the trip. He's their best friend. He is to the car ranger as Jesus Christ of Bethlehem is to the world. Matt Giordano was right. The car ranger are terrible human beings. That's how you say Matt's last name, right? How do you say it? Giordano. A Giordano. Okay, yeah. who... Uh- I like to do a character that's someone who can understand anything said from a different language unless they repeat it back to you in the <laughs> accent, and that's a perfect one. Matt was also a performance god in Todd Groban's Going Away Purdy, presented <laughs> by Channel Flux, a muscular clown product. But I guess Dapu can't go because he's an otherworldly being, much like Katie Johnston Dean of Todd Groban fame, at generic brunette on Twitter. Yeah, I'm getting in all the plugs, oh, baby. Oh, damn. That's her hyphen it, right? I I have lost track. Okay, guys. Ask her about her hyphen it, baby. Uh, and go check out Mortified. So he would have gotten found out by Mr. Pegasus. So I guess Dapu swam to another island in Japan and walked to the countryside to get to them. Damn, that's a friend you don't want to let go of. But remember, guys, you can hop in. Oh, hopping into my heart. But you've heard of the boy who cried wolf. That was some good hopping in. Nicole, we're not at 30 minutes left. Let, 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 let. We're not at 30 minutes. <laughs> let, let. I actually tried to. We're not at 30 minutes yet. There we go, baddies. But have you heard of Cry Girl Alien of? Well. Nope. You have no, because some lion dick fools the gang into thinking there's an alien, but it's just a mask licks Michael Myers pitchfork and all. Oh, no. She sees some real aliens then, but no one believes her because she's a strawberry eating ass liar. <laughs> nope. A stra- liar. <laughs> strawberry eating ass liar, not you eating ass. You had it right ass. the first time. Oh, man. I'm not saying a little child's eating a strawberry's ass. Guys, what? Except you just did. What part of, uh, <laughs> uh, what part of the strawberry's the ass? That's when pretty deep. When you take the, the green part off of it. But that's how it gets nutrients. So that's its belly button, right? No. Oh man, they... you get your nutrients through your belly button? Oh, no, when you're a baby, well, you're you to do. Apply... Oh, when you're a baby. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. It, because the vine is technically an umbilical yeah, cord. Yeah, and when you're an adult, that's where your ass is. Oh yeah. <laughs> Nicole and I go ass to mouth all the time. <laughs> I'm constantly giving her Zerberts on her belly button. <laughs> Ooh, I'm putting my mouth on that ass, girl, giving them tickles. <laughs> oh. Hashtag Zerbert. You know, button spelled B-U-T-T-O-M. Oh, guys. And O-N is right on send. That means, uh, speaking of that, we got them, uh... 
Hot springs. Snakey. <laughs> uh, uh, she then sees a real alien, but no one believes her because she's a strawberry eaten ass liar. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> it's not until some perv in Bozak scoops up Natsumi's bathwater that the gang gets to wizen. Let us know if you'd buy my bathwater. Hashtag sexy suds on Twitter. Mm. But through some Harriet the Supplies, oh no, Harriet the Spy maneuvers, we find out the burglared bathwater is for a takeoff crystal, which the rays make anyone shot take off their clothes. Noogie Noogie, or yeah, that's how it's pronounced. Noogie Noogie means take off. So it's for real. Work that into your everyday conversation. Yeah, guys. Ooh, give someone a Noogie Noogie. Bully a kid to take off their clothes. Okay. Uh, if you're also in high school, you know, haze them, haze her. Ooh, you got to no. watch that porn, baby. Uh, no. Woo, baby. So the water is used for masturbation aid, but not the way I'd use it. That's which, what it's used for. Yes. Thank you for explaining, because I didn't get that in the show. Yeah, they they shot the the take off and they took it off and he said oh a perfect specimen talking about natsumi they wanted to see her friggin jazzy up nips well they did not get that they didn't at all uh where was Spoiler. i i'm constantly okay but what i would use it for would have been turning it into said crystal and shoving up my butt <laughs> <laughs> tapu gets shot by the ray and is all like womp 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 no womp, 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 womp. Okay. looking for a partner to ride genuine style uh you guys have heard that pony song oh pony boy stay golden within my shower oh, okay <laughs> the car <laughs> ranger then get big Get shot by some sensual oils and steamy earth squirts, but nothing can stop them from slashing their way through alien scum. Yeah. In the end, we learn if you're a kid thinking about lying, don't fool people into thinking man-eating aliens are around. Do the responsible thing and lie about your age because that way you can buy beer and be the cool person at a high school party. Car Ranger. I feel like you'd be good at leading people through some kind of like transcendental meditation. I'd be good at guiding someone into a bad acid trip. Yeah, I think I think I'm in one. Oh, nice. Let's do that. Hey, that's what Brian I think said as well. Melzer, we ask this to everyone. We already know your history with Power Rangers, but maybe we don't know your history with Car Ranger. First, what did you think of this show? Uh, you know, it's the worst Power or worst Sentai. For real? For real. Oh, no. I think it might be because it's probably the version of it I would make if they gave me one where I'd be like, I'll make it kind of funny. And then it just fails at being a good show in every way no uh, yeah oh no we love it is that universal no <laughs> oh, wait universal <laughs> with us two yeah you like it i like it oh i thought you love it no oh no this is not this is not new information i thought you said you were really like i oh, said yeah. it was growing yeah. on me okay i should bring this up before i forget i wrote down james will make a diaper diapu pun in the opening, and I, I was certain of it, and you didn't, and I'm so pissed. Uh, I haven't seen this episode since I first watched it, and to do the summary, I just kind of clipped through it. It was just a bad read on my part. It was it you? You know, you don't take the low hanging fruit; you go. Oh, guys, you got to take the low hanging fruit, aka and eat strawberry ass. Eat a belly button, guys. Oh. My God, if you're in a relationship, what? give someone a Zerbert and do hashtag eating strawberry butt. That's why I tune into <laughs> this podcast is for all of the, the sexual tips. Yeah, guys. Ooh, sexual tips. Put a strawberry in your belly button. Hashtag strawberry Show tips. Show a crystal right up your ass. <laughs> Show a crystal right up your ass. <laughs> Till your earth squirts. <laughs> yeah. You can do that on Twitter. Uh, Porn's on Twitter, guys. Get wise to it. Get with Have it. Have you not? Found out that porn's on Twitter? Get no, to that. Uh, some people might not know yet. You it's don't weird. need a gun with crystals to make people take off their clothes. I thought you were going to say... <laughs> oh, oh so, <laughs> I did think you were going to say, you don't need a gun to shove up your butt. Oh, my God. You don't need a gun to come unless you're really into some kinky-ass shit. Yeah, I mean, I do, but not everybody <laughs> yes. needs one. 
No, you just need a plant to yeah. jack off on. Yeah. And a PNG. What you didn't see is off screen someone was holding a gun at me. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we own guns. It's canon on this podcast. Boom. You ever heard that Brother Lynch song? It's definitely not you just holding Frank and making gun noises. I have done that too. I hold him and I go, meow. Or <laughs> if I'm holding him the other way. Oh, right, right, right. You ever heard that Brother Lynch song, Brother Lynch hung song, <laughs> where he goes, put a nine in that pussy hoe and cock it back slow? It's a really fucked up song, guys. Check yeah. it out. I think it's called Return of the Baby Killer. It's probably just like his penis and not a real gun. Oh, no, no, no. He's, uh... In case you were wondering, it's actually a gun. <laughs> <laughs> It might be something like that. Hold this on. This is not a metaphor. <laughs> hey, I've said, I've said that in a song before. Let me pull up and read the lyrics. This song has not been a metaphor. I have peanut butter in my puss. <laughs> uh, you better pray when you see me put that nine up in that pussy hoe. Mm -hmm. Cock it back slow. Mm -hmm. Rock it back and forth. Wait for the nut. Then let my trigger go boom. Pussy guts all over the room. <sighs> if you ain't seen it, then I'm fiending for the meaning of that Nina of Doom. Two inches in and uh, four inches out. You back that, can't say that word, that pack Pass. that gut. So uh, pretty much, oh, and then hit that endo sack. It's like that. Uh, yeah, no, he's for real talking about. Well, when he said nut, it made me think it was a wiener. And then he, when he said pussy guts everywhere, and he thought it was a gun again. But then he was like only two inches in. And then I was like, well, that's kind of small for a gun. Uh, so I don't know. Hey, guys, uh, two inches is fine. It's big. It's just how you use it. For like, a, uh, but for a gun, that's like a what, what size gun would that be? Like a ooh, dirigible? No, no, that's a, a shotgun. The one you what's can. The, what's uh, the little tiny gun that like card sharks have that come out of the sleeve? He didn't say that was the whole gun. He was just saying two inches. Oh, inches of, of it. My, oh, so yes. it could, yeah, it could have been a full rifle. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Oh, uh, literal trigger warnings here. Should have said that beforehand before I started singing "Return of the Baby Killer." This is a Sentai podcast, baby. Yeah, way to go. Yeah. Way to go. <laughs> how long? 30 minutes and we're just talking about guns and pussy. Yeah, Eat guys. that strawberry ass. Ooh. I guess pussy guts could be like a quim. Squirt. You got to drink some squirt, guys. The soda pop, not the ejaculate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love Say sody pop when you're talking about squirt. I would love some carbonated squirt. God the ejaculate, it. not the sodi pop. But then it becomes a sodi pop. Throw some sugar in there. But what notes do you guys what are we, have? What are we here for? Yep. What's my happening? mind just melted out of my head. Like squirt. Oh, when I squirt, my mind melts. This is on brand. First thing I've written down is vagina teeth face. Vag oh, yeah. The... I assume that's the monster that was Opa. stealing bathwater. Yeah. So I didn't catch until you did the wrap up that the water had a purpose. Yeah, the yeah. water, they... It's for him to jack off. Yeah, guys. Uh, what yeah. it does is, like, something inside it will crystallize and become that crystal. Like, if you remember when they were, like, uh -huh. she was, like, spying on them in the lab. Yeah. He poured the water like into, like, the glass funnel thing. Right. And then it turned into the crystal. I guess for viewers at home, the plan of the episode was to get the rangers naked. Yeah. So yes. they could get a cold. Uh huh. And stay in bed for ten days. Yes. yes. Okay. So now, okay. Then they went and stole the water. Was it important for the Rangers to be in the water when they I stole it? I don't think so. But he was already in that bath when we saw him the first time. Did he trip and spill the water? No. I no. That was him being lazy and like just relaxing. Yeah. They're very incompetent. The villains. Okay. Yeah, because he was like, after this, I'm gonna work on the gun. Well, and the reason why the Rangers were there. No, I was going to say weird. connects to the previous episode, but that wasn't the Rangers. That was just the Bozak still trying to go to the, the onsen. Yeah. And Vagina Teeth Face ran all the way to where they were, where they were getting on that train, right? Because that's the alien that she saw? Uh, no, he was running from a different area, and I think he was running into the the hot springs. Because that girl jetted, I don't know. I, so I took it as, so the girl was like out there. She sees the first alien, right? Then the second alien, that was this monster? Yes. Yeah, she's still at the first location. No, so she, she ran. She she's ran like going through some really bushes. She ran far and was like yelling in an empty street. 
But and she got she to where goes, the people were, which she were getting on a train does. to go yeah. take to the hot spring. Yeah. No. No, no. They weren't go- those other people weren't going to the hot spring. I don't think. Oh, like oh, the other people like Hunter S. Thompson with the little kid. Yes. Okay. Which oh my god. So she says there's an alien and. They're like, you little liar, you already, we know you're lying. And Ichiro, I think that's his name, laughs exactly like Showa-era children in Godzilla movies. It was so fake and so loud. Yeah, he's clipped that mic. Give us one. He went like, ah! That one? was way too high. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, no, he was like, ha, 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 ha. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh hey, oh, I'm Winnie the Pooh. Yep, they Hi-yo. nailed it, Whoa. exactly. Am I in there? Am I in the episode? Hi, yo, why are you so sad today? I got my butt stuck again. Were they, why was Dapu in the woods? Dapu is in the woods because he was left out. They didn't invite him. Because I figured he was probably looking for the Bozak. No, he was looking for them because he wants to hang out with them and have the vacation. But he wasn't allowed to go because they don't want Pegasus to find out about Dapu because then they'd have to explain like, oh, he's here because we're car rangers. Who is Pegasus? Yeah, uh, that's their boss. OK, which goddamn. Well, it's the company they work for. Yeah. Uh, I call him Mr. Pegasus. The store He's the whatever. president, the owner of Pegasus Auto. And that is a Which company is, trip. Yeah, I was going to say it's weird because it looks, it seems like a locally owned business, but they're saying it's like a company trip, which is just weird. Well, they're a, they're a small business. So guys support small businesses. They must just be like very successful, I guess. Don't help small businesses you want to know what screw small businesses baby we all about those corporate fucking subsidized taxes baby Mm. the one percent stay to one percent and keep growing no one's allowed in our club no freaking poor babies quit whining (laughs) about them taxes you get stuck with if you want in about being poor just don't be poor anymore it's not hard people (laughs) Oh Just don't God. be poor. I don't care about you or Indiegogo trying to support a goddamn improv class. Uh, I'm working three jobs. Just work one job that pays <laughs> three times that. <laughs> Come on. You're trying to pay for medical bills. Just don't be sick. Yeah. <laughs> Preventative care. Go for a run. Exactly. Stay healthy so you don't become unhealthy and get a better job that has better health care. It's not rocket science. <laughs> science. Unless, hey, rocket science pays Perfect well. Job. Yes. Oh, you can't pay for the education. Just get a better job like we said before. That will- B- bootstraps. To pay for you know, it. Pull your them up. And if you can't afford bootstraps, well, guess what? <laughs> Make your own DIY. Yeah. But I don't want to see any Indiegogos about some DIY Patreon you have. God, when my when my wife's if dumbass Indiegogo uncle was for a our Patreon. age, he was already, you know, running UPS or something. I know. He, he never even heard the word college before he ended up doing that. So what are you doing? My dad, <sighs> fresh out of college, found a guy, started a business. And you want to know what? The bank took down that business eventually, but still, he was able to support three kids. How come we can't support ourselves? This has been going on way too long, I feel like. This bit. (laughs) The bit. Oh. That's why I'm here. (laughs) Oh, I thought 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 this was a conservative talk radio show. It is, guys. We love our president. And we love Todd Grobin. Yeah. Yeah. If you love (laughs) Donald Trump. You love Putin. And if you love Putin, you'll love Todd Groban's going away party. Oh, yeah. And if you love uh, corporate artists, you'll love Todd Groban. Oh, yeah. Got that Channel Flux money. Yeah, baby. (laughs) Channel Flux money. (laughs) (laughs) Channel Flux is going to make us bleep that out. Oh, yeah. Big Channel Flux. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, get get near that mic, baby. Oh, sorry. (laughs) You are like, oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, no, wait. No, no, no. This is not a bit. 
Oh, man. Oh, right. Pegasus. Okay, yes. so that was a... Uh, that, that's the company they work for. I didn't get that from that episode. So that's yeah. Okay. Was one of the one of the mustache men? There was like two mustache men who yes. never really get any reference. One of them is Pegasus? Yes. The one in the picture and the one always by the little boy. Yeah. What was going on there? That's his like dad. His, okay. All right. That's what's going on like, there. There's two options. It's his dad or I don't like it. <laughs> it's his dad or his dad. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> oh, yeah. You did Peggy Hill. So summer colds, that's like a whole thing, huh? Summer yeah. colds fucking suck. I don't think I've ever gotten one. I've gotten it once. Were and you it in bed for 10 sucks. days? Sucks. No, but it's just like Were you taking your clothes off outside? Especially here because it's like so thick in the air and then you're like stuffy and it's just like and it's like so hot and it's it's disgusting and it's the worst. Damn. I've only had those winter colds that, you know, like legitimately almost kill you. Yeah. yeah. Same ish. No, I've gotten maybe one. No, usually I got that pus in my my mouth one. Call last it squirt. Summer. What? Call it squirt. Oh yeah, guys. Uh, well, oh. I called it a uh, because I eat so much ice cream. I called it a uh, sweet cream backed up and wanted to like <laughs> it needed somewhere to come out of my body and it chose my mouth where it came in. That's like legitimately how Aristocats in like England back in the medieval times died. Like I had yeah. too much sweet cream. <laughs> <laughs> and now I have gout and syphilis. <laughs> The bile, that's how we gauge health. <laughs> that was back when like having certain diseases was like a status symbol. Oh, really? Like, yeah, well, 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 being overweight was a status symbol, oh, but yeah. also like, oh, I have gout. That's the rich man's disease. Like, I can't walk with my legs because I've had too much cake. You've never had cake in your life. What uh, The rich man's disease now is like being a psychopath. <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah, that's you need to be okay. a psychopath in order to be a, a rich person. Like rich per- people are. You have are... to be willing to fuck people yeah. over and not feel guilty about it. American psycho God style. Damn it, is that what I'm doing wrong? See, I was yeah. talking to somebody you else. You have a conscience. That's your problem. Uh, oh no, I got to get rid you of that. You have a moral compass. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to start giving all my money to corporations. <laughs> get it out of here. One t- when I was in high school, I was like, I need to start being a dick for like girls to like me. God, toxic How'd that work masculinity. Out? Yeah. Uh, it, not good. I, I mean, like, my last high school girlfriend did, and I quote, say she found me attractive because I was dangerous. Oh. And I know. It's because you had the clown makeup on, right? And you looked like Sting the Wrestler? I, it, because, I think it was because of the horror core. I think she yeah. thought I was dangerous because of that. Boy, did she, was she in a rude awakening after six months with me. So... I re okay. There's a guy who I met at a party a couple weeks back, and he is an actuary. Do you guys like know anything no. about that? No. They're like risk assessment people. They have to have like just the craziest level of like algebra knowledge to be able to like get this job, and it, like it constantly has different levels of like taking math tests that are harder and harder and harder. And he was like. Got to talk with him. He's a very amped up guy. And he starts being like, oh, you should check out my, my books. It's like math like this. And starts showing me. And I I mentioned something about like, man, I wish I could like focus the way you do on math on like my own projects and yeah. stuff. And he's like, oh, you know how you do it. Adderall. And he <laughs> got so pushy about Adderall. He oh, gave me a bag whoa. of it. A bat like of dust or pills? Of pills. Okay. Uh, but like before I left, he was like, here, <laughs> do this crushed. and try writing. You're going to like get so much done. You're going to feel so much smarter. You're going to be so much better. So I guess there's the get rid of your conscious uh, uh-huh. path to success. And then there's pills, baby. One rapper producer tried pitching mushrooms to become like, Ooh, if yeah. you ever have like creative block, just do a micro dose mushrooms for a little bit and then you'll be good as gold again. Did you do it? No, absolutely not. Did he give you a baggie of it? No, I wish. I think wish. that's the trick, because I'm very tempted to do this Adderall thing, because now I'm just sitting with a bag of Adderall, and I'm like, what am I going to do with this? Oh, wait, you got the Adderall? He would he would not let me leave without Adderall. Sell it to teens. Te- uh, ha- teens listen to this. Yeah. Teens, hit me up. Uh, MT Mels are on Twitter. I'll sell you Adderall. Yes. You in <sighs> big it's, pharma it's now. legal. Who, who, who? For legal purposes, he's not really going to do that. Give it to your dog. Oh, you want to know? <laughs> uh, the only thing that could be worse than selling to the teens oh through a podcast gosh. is just killing my dog with it. I <laughs> revealed on our one year episode that when I when we went to your birthday party, oh yeah, I didn't know dogs weren't supposed to eat grass, <laughs> and 
I saw your dog eat grass for maybe five minutes. And I was like, man, that dog's hungry. <laughs> and then uh, I think your wife or you came up and said, no, stop eating the grass. And I was like, uh oh, don't 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 make eye contact with them. They will know I was watching this. <laughs> Uh yeah no it makes them sick okay yeah guys don't let a dog eat grass unless it's that dank Chiba stuff <laughs> sweet sweet Chiba I came up with uh if someone's in an intervention think of this you can use this I also told Sean he can use this this bit is uh in the public domain someone is like having an intervention and the people are like you know you really need to like stop doing drugs this and that and someone says. Well, this Chiba has been kind, bud, to me. This Chiba's been kind to me. That's two strands of dank-ass stank, baby. In, in this scenario, are you the person being given the intervention? Yes. yeah. Okay, so the next time someone gives you an intervention, here's a loaded, surefire joke that's just going to really lighten the mood. Yeah, of saying, like, well, you guys have been dicks to me. Well, guess what? The Chiba's been kind to me. Like, uh, no, don't do you, the it was, drugs. This is... Chiba has been kinder to me than you ever have. Bud. Yeah. yeah. Stick but it but we in. need to, to stick the kind in there. Kind! Oh, but, Nicole, don't <laughs> scream into the mic. This is presupposing that people are doing interventions for smoking too much weed, which I feel like, as far as interventions go, is probably on the very low scale of what happens. Yeah, you're right. Like I've said, that pathway program that my brother was in, some people were doing horse tranquilizers. Yeah. They were shooting up propel water. What? Yeah, and they just said, yeah, gave me hives. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've lived a life. Uh, no, actually, I've lived. Uh, what? What's the parents? Pri- give precariously. your fucking teenagers something to do. I know. Like, yeah, well. Jesus Christ. If the outcome is. It gave me hives. Why are they there? Like, did they want to keep doing it? Uh, no, no. I mean, they also were doing like heroin. They oh, had okay. the needles around and they were like, what can I do with this? It's got electrolytes in it. It's like if you have bottle rockets around, what am I going to do with this? You just stick it up your butt. Yeah, baby. Or p- strap it to some inline skates. See what will happen. Oh, yeah. That's a better idea. So it's kids. Wizard's duel. A wizard's duel? Wait. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought you were at first I thought you said a wizard stool and I was like, ooh, that's it's shooting out of your yeah. butt. Yeah, guys, please give your children something to do. <laughs> no, teenagers. We listed three great activities. Teenagers are the fucking worst because they have too much time to cause trouble. And they have too much angst. Yeah, oh, so much angst. Did you guys have a lot of angst? I know you did. Oh yeah. Did you have a lot of angst? Yeah. yeah. I had a lot of angst. I only had <laughs> angst. <laughs> and you were just like, will someone fucking give me three hearts in their journal and harvest I also moon? just had like, <laughs> <laughs> I also, okay, I didn't realize this until I started dating James and he pointed out this happened when you were teenagers no okay that i get hangry like legitimately if i haven't eaten oh yeah sure. like i will get like super pissed and like now that i can like i like know that's what's happening i still can't like there's this part of me that's just like and like the other part of me is like don't fucking say it because you only feel this way because you're hungry but then there's the pull Exactly. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, but this is fucking pissing me off. No, I'm I'm righteous right now. Yeah. So like I didn't even realize that I got that way until I met James. And then I was like, holy shit, there have been so many times where I was like a dick just because I was hungry. And if I like knew this so much earlier in uh, my life, this would have made my life so much easier if I just like fucking carried snacks with me. Oh, yes. <laughs> So much of my life, I went through like, no, I'm just depressed. But like, really, I like wasn't sleeping or eating or doing anything and not going outside or seeing people. And then I was just like, oh, my life's horrible. <laughs> but I'm just like doing the stuff people do to like torture someone before they interrogate them to myself yeah. for fun. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, I started, you know, like trying to get sleep and eating right. And mm-hmm. stuff. Suddenly, I was fine. Yeah. Yeah. I used to just think, wow, like. 
my head feels a lot heavier now. And this was in fifth grade and it wasn't until ninth <laughs> grade that I realized, oh, this is serious depression. Oh, uh, I was so hoping that story was going to end with like, and I had this metal hat. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> you know, with James, it could be anything. Yeah. It's this helmet I've been wearing. <laughs> Damn. And then I just took it off and my life got a lot better. I should have been wearing a helmet throughout oh my, my entire gosh. childhood. I had so many concussions, but that gives me save points to go back to. I think, honest to God, oh that God. when you black out, that's a save point you can hop back to. You think? Yeah. Because I've blacked out a lot, so hey. we should try it with some kind of Inception thing. All right. So, <laughs> But I don't know how to activate it. So you have that. to kill yourself to find out if you'll go back to that. No, well, I, I don't me, know how to activate it. What's dipped me into like, uh, uh, what is that, like the Minority Report style like tube room? You know, like where those like the psychics were like floating yeah. in that bath water and we'll just like put a funnel in my mouth and pour uh, alcohol in it until I black out. OK. And see if I wake up in the past. Oh, at a point that I've already blacked out. I'm just afraid because, you know, like we have a lot of that mics I'll, I'll and spin over and just drown. Well, like you that. brought up Inception and in order to wake up from the dream, you have to kill yourself. So that's what I was saying. What? <laughs> Well, yeah, I, you've never seen Inception. I haven't. So wait, no, no, is that not what you do? No, that is. That's why you're just like, oh shit, I don't want to. Okay, this came out long ass time spoilers. ago. Okay, spoilers. Uh, exactly. The wife, <laughs> the wife is like, oh, like they were in real life, but the wife was like, no, this is a dream. In order for me to wake up, I just have to kill myself. Oh, so then she kills herself, but it wasn't a dream. You are you are correct. Yeah. But then Biggie shows up and he's like, it was all a dream. <laughs> Mel's just looking at me like he does not know this reference. Who's Biggie? <laughs> Bigly Wallace Smalls? Christopher styling too, but. Oh, that's how I remember him. Uh, you with a tube in your mouth, I'm very afraid you'll try and like black out but you'll just be drunk and singing into a talk box i'm fine with that okay guys peter frampton style mm. i think that was him doing a talk box let us know a hashtag talk box <laughs> <laughs> i would totally watch a drunk inception though where like there is you are able to like teleport back to other people other blackout moments but like you can't do much because all you are is just like about to throw up oh, at a new just... party <laughs> but you do have the knowledge of the future momentarily so like yeah i don't know see in mine i was just a child constantly being hit on the head oh, those are different. my blackout moments were you like a child boxer oh yeah i was yeah. lil mac like the real lil <laughs> mac but lil mick for mccullum and uh yeah, guys, I can say that word. Mick is a offensive term for Irish people. Oh, I know all the offensive terms for Irish people. Okay. Oh, no. Yeah. Melzer um, does not no. sound Irish, so... I'm adopted. We don't really know what I am. Oh, wait, you are? Mm? Wait, for real? Yeah. We Pinky can all promise. be related. Yeah, Pinky Promise. Oh, yes. What if we are related? That's my biggest fear for a while was like, I'm going to fuck my sister. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not... Taboo style, baby. Yeah, that, that became in vogue, I guess. On yeah, the guys. I mean, it still is with the step stuff, which yeah. is bonkers. Oh, yeah. My manager said that his grandfather had like multiple secret families. Whoa. <laughs> so yeah. it's like, what if you just like accidentally like fuck your first cousin? See, uh, that's something I've been he, legitimately afraid of was like, because yeah. I have a lot of mystery in my genetics. It was like, Anybody who looks a little like me, I should probably just not fuck with <laughs> Yeah. You're just fucking centaurs. He, uh, yeah. he said that Talk one of his cousins did the, what is that called? 23 Me? Yeah, one of those or like ancestry, ancestry yeah. sites or whatever and said that like they had all these cousins. So they like went to their grandfather and were like, uh, do you know this so-and-so? And he's like, yeah. Oh, geez. Yeah. Man, secret families are real, guys. That's a, that's a sad thing about our generation. Our generation probably is going to have less secret families than any other generation. One, because of things like Facebook, but also, how can we afford it? Yeah. You know? Corporations, guys. That's how we afford yeah. it. Yeah. We all start a corporation, incorporate ourselves. We're rolling in that Doughboys money. Get a, get a well, bailout I mean, instantly. Secret families, I feel like, are usually rich people, right? It does. It, they can just be normal middle class. It's like people who are uh, 
I don't want to. I mean, like, I'm say, only pulling uh, this from like movies and TV. So well, I'm yeah. pulling it from uh, polygamists. Polygamists are you? I guess if That's they just different. had one family, but I'm saying like people who have secret families are kind of poly. I'm. I mean, uh, I'm not. If you're a polygamist, I'm not trying to talk down on what you do. But what I'm saying is, economically, you have to have a certain amount of money to raise that big of a family. Well, so, yes. But I guess, like, the main difference between polygamy and the way we're thinking, like, it's typically done is they are not keeping it a secret. Yeah. Like, they're just like, here are the wives or here are the husbands. Yeah. You know, but when it comes to secret families, then it's more like you they know something's wrong because they're keeping it a secret. No, uh, but I, I'm not saying, like, d- wrong or right. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> the, the, because Nicole said like they have to be court like they have to be rich I just think they need to be upper middle class right wasn't the the rash of it the traveling salesman yeah that's what like started it oh shit in my the dad, American mythos my dad's a traveling salesman now whoa daddy got secret family <laughs> <laughs> Nicole yes was your dad a, a traveling salesman no. Yeah, but he, uh, that wasn't a secret family. That was, uh... That was an accidental... That was just, uh... That was before my sister was born. A mistake he sure. brushed under the rug and never thought yeah, about it again. Exactly. Her dad sucks! <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah. Daddy not good. Let's get to some starred notes real quick. Yeah. Uh, Nicole. God, and Ashley tried to like defend it. Like, okay, that, we, like, now we're talking about this now. Tried to romanticize it. What? And I was like, no, that's that's worse. Like that makes it even like that's not better. Clearly, I know what's going on, that but the audience so might bad. not. Uh, th- we've talked about it before. Okay, so Ni- they know. So Nicole, I'm the only one that doesn't know. Yeah, Nicole's dad had a was ch- just saying that like he didn't want to like. I don't know, like connected to them, like his other, like my half sister, uh, mm. because like he wanted his own, I'm doing air quotes, his own family. And she kind of like said it in a way that like romanticized it. And it's like, no, that's super uh. fucking shitty and terrible. You gotta just dip out because we yeah. know he wasn't paying child like, support for so his own selfish. family. Oh, wow. Yeah. I would like you to, because you've said it before, like you, to meet this other sister and just say like, dude, you really were not missing anything. I know that's sucky for me to say, and you probably think differently, but for real, man, yeah. that dude sucks. That kind of happened with uh, when my sister, because my sister's also adopted. She went to go like find her like initial birth family or yeah. whatever. Uh, and that's basically what ended up happening. It was like, she eventually met people who were just like, yeah, you don't want to actually meet like there was like a i guess technically her like half brother or brother was like yeah, uh, yeah you don't want to meet them for okay. real <laughs> i've been working to get them out of my life i've thought about like messaging my like ex stepmom and being like i'm sorry he's such a piece of shit like i'm sorry you had to go through that just because like at the time i was a kid and i didn't understand and i think in oh, like yeah, she doesn't know so that weird. That like I'm an adult now and I understand like like everything that happened and like who he really is. I think that's why she's always like kind of hesitated to try and like keep contact with us. Yeah. Because he's a fucking crazy person. And she thinks contact with you means contact with him. More that he'll like go after her and be like, don't fucking talk to my kids. Oh, he's terrible, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Ooh, guys, deal with Ooh. your your trauma through comedy. Uh, Nicole, within this story, <laughs> Natsume, yeah, we're going back to Sentai. Just Natsume transitioning, yeah. Has, well, my mom's awesome. So. Yes. Shout out to moms. Shout out to mom. <laughs> <laughs> Screw off, mom. Whoa! Oh, yeah, not your mom, Whoa. my mom, yeah. Whoa. I I got to keep her in check so she's, you know, you don't want- Whoa. Yeah, you don't want like your mom Be thinking. Be nice to your mom. She loves you. It's like uh, if you feed a stray cat, they'll keep coming back to you. You need to set boundaries. Do that with your parents, guys. Oh my god, uh, we got a lot of advice for young people in this show. Yeah, no, this is advice for anyone. Give them desserts, even if your parents are dead. 
ghosts can make contact. Okay, it happens in my dreams. Shadow monsters come to me. Those could be my grandpapa, my pa. He could be trying to jump out from a corner and scare me. That could have been his uh his style of humor back when his yeah. knees were good. I don't know. He might have wanted to scare me as a little tyke. Who knows? But not to me. Just as like a rule of thumb, <laughs> don't listen to anything James says. <laughs> Not to me. And <laughs> this little girl make a connection because she's like, you're not a liar. And this little girl says, I want I'll stop lying and I'll be a wonderful woman just like you. Not to me. This is a female role model. Nicole, when you were younger, who was your female role model? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I feel so on the spot. I, I don't know. I'm sorry. Who was your female role model? I'm gonna go with Sigourney Weaver. Nice. Yeah. Probably Hillary Duff, I guess. Oh, really? Yeah. Hell nice. yeah. Nice. Hillary Duff is. But she really queen. wasn't like. I guess I was thinking of like an adult. Yeah. But she really wasn't at the time. To you, she's older than you. But, but yeah. Hillary Duff or Lizzie McGuire? The, it's the same thing. Hey. Like, street fight? Essentially, who'd win? Oh yeah, who'd win? Yeah. I think if it was like classic rules, Hillary Duff. But if it was in the streets, I think Lizzie McGuire. Lizzie McGuire could astral project into a cartoon and really just <laughs> yeah. beat the hell out of Hillary Duff. Uh, what was yours? I guess like Quistus from Final Fantasy VIII. Sure. Yeah. I don't know what that is. Which but... one was eight? The one that people don't like. Uh, it's with Squall, Cypher. Yeah, this isn't helping. Okay. <laughs> it came out after seven. <laughs> oh, that one. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. No, we got you. We yeah, got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's funny that we're, we went from mom to talking about what's not Natsume. Yeah. Uh, because I wrote, is that a ranger or a middle-aged soccer mom? <laughs> uh, she's not middle-aged. She's younger than us, probably. No. Yeah, she came off very adult. And the rest of them look very young, even for Rangers. Let's see how old this actress oh is, God. baby. You mean now? I wrote Natsume is OG Wonder Woman. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, because she wanted to be a Wonder Woman. Yeah. A wonderful woman. A wonderful woman. A wonderful woman. Guys, talk about uh, a yeah. uh, uh, thing uh, real quick. Uh, 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 yeah, okay, who's a child molester? Dapu in the nude. <laughs> so apparently yeah. in the series, his wiener gets seen. But it was not in that According episode. According to James. According to James, yeah. Yes, okay. So I think somewhere we see <laughs> his penis. It's just a felt penis. No, I vaguely remember that because I think I caught it when and you I, were like, watching it the first time. It. Yeah. But it was not this episode. It was not this episode. And then Melzer said, if not this episode, when? <laughs> yeah. I think he does another change up. I think this came out in 1997, so, or 96 minus 78. There's a fucking. She would have been 18. At the time that came out? Yeah. She, really? What? Yeah. She looks old for her age. But also, it was, it was more like the style of dress and the hair. Yeah, I think it's the haircut. Yeah. It's like kind of a momish haircut. I thought so. Yeah. yeah. All right. There's a real clash of time periods going on right now because James is rocking both a phone and a mathing calculator. Oh, <laughs> no. Well, this out. is an iPod Touch 6. So, oh, excuse uh, me. I also got one of Not these. Not a phone. You know? Boom, boom, boom. Get it right. But guys, do you have any pressing notes? Mm. I said Dapu is female forward because uh, these dudes were trying to mansplain uh, her uh, fixing stuff. And he's like, you did it. You're the greatest mechanic in the world. He doesn't even double think. He's like, no, I know who I picked as a team. Mm. He did remove all of his clothes and... in front of her, though. Speaking of, <laughs> the, the monster gets hit by... This noogie noogie ray. Yeah. And he starts stripping like sensually and he oh, says, yeah. oh, just a peek. And just I said, peek. I said, that's me. <laughs> that's how I would strip. <laughs> exactly how. That's I how would... you do strip. Yeah, baby. I'm just, I'm so hung up on the water and what its purpose was now. It, I think maybe the hot spring itself from that hot because spring. Because he says... That the hot spring makes people want to take off their clothes. Right. So maybe any just, hot springs? Just from a writing standpoint, yes. don't put him in the hot spring and then have him have to go back to get the water again. 
But he was like, he was making the gun. So that's probably like. He's like, later I'll need water. No way for me to keep it for a minute. Or he like, needed more no, water, yeah, fresh water. Thank you. He needed more. More. Okay. He ran out of water. Yeah. yeah he's okay. only got two little arms. All right. Okay, so I th- I have one more star note, but I think you kind of touched on this earlier. I was going to ask you, how would you morph bot this episode? Mm. Well, I guess, you know, I mean, inherently, it's creepy as shit. Yeah. You know, like, it's about trying to get them to take their clothes off. I imagine an easy way to do it is, you know, the person who comes up with the plan wants to do it to give them a cold. Right. Yeah. But then everybody else is on board for the other reason, Uh, you know, and you just kind (laughs) of lean into that. uh, And then the you could probably even get a little extra humor of the one person not getting it, eventually learning the rest of them are all creeps. And then then not being on board as a villain, like, you know, like Mm. I wanted to give them all a cold so that we could steal something or whatever. But you guys are fucking monsters. Oh, yeah. And then like. (laughs) Uh, maybe at the end when they cut him, he's just like, oh, that's when he it clicks in his mind of like, oh, no, this wasn't for colds. I'm going to bow out. You can murder me. Yeah. And when they spin around, they're just they're <laughs> puking in their yeah. helmets. So this made me I'm sorry. This made me think of like the whole reason of like wanting to make people nude. I thought was like connected to. Zonetta like because the guy the consultant like was trying to get Zonetta to go to the spring in the previous episode Um. into the hot spring to like get her nude but then like they didn't follow up with that in this episode I think retroactively we can look at that as he wanted an excuse to go to the hot springs to see if it had this like this active property within it to make this crystal and he wasn't being a creep about it he just needed an excuse or someone to go with to the hot spring. And Maybe. hey, if you're going to see some skin, let's see Zonetta. You don't want to see crotch out of his crotch, little come scuba on, crotch. suit. One We've thing that I disgusting think belly button. was pretty interesting, and it was a very small thing, is that the uh, monster branded his lab that oh, he made yeah. in the woods. Like, it was a storefront you could go to, but he like put his logo up on top of it. And that was a cool looking lab. Yeah. It would be cozy. Like, that's a nice winter cabin. Yeah. Ooh, it's sure. nice and relaxed. You got any more notes, Nicole? No. Melzer. Nope. All right, so Melzer. Car magic. That's how they get their power on this show. <sighs> Something I hate. And it's not that their powers are cars. It's that magic from the constellations. I know it's. I said that wrong. Constellations. No, I probably said it right the first time. Stars <laughs> that okay. look like in shapes of cars. Star cars. They get their power from that. It's magic of cars. (laughs) If you got power from an inanimate object or from anything, what would you want magic to deprive from? Mine was dead bugs because there's so many of them. them? Yeah, Nicole's was ass. Derived? Yeah, you I, deprived from guys. I want to deprive children and get their power. <laughs> yeah, why not? I uh, know, but, <laughs> no, but, okay, but uh, an inanimate object or something, or like if, it, in the same way that cars are what give them their power. Yeah, some people did cigarette smoke. My sister did did baby pot magic. There's a lot. I think sour skittles is like the happiest <laughs> thing I can think of. So I think I'd do that. I could like somehow be some version of Popeye, but with sour skittles, <laughs> that would really make my life better. So they have that changer that, that uh, chain, uh, like okay. they lock that in. So would yours just be like a candy dispenser, and you'd like pour it over your mouth? Yeah, and like, I'd unlock it, and then it would just pour in my mouth. Could it be just yeah. like a tiny vending machine? Oh, wait, were you pitching like it locks onto my mouth, like it's Bane's mask? <laughs> oh, <laughs> just like yeah. constantly getting a little bit of Skittles. And oh, that's yeah, let's so do that. Yeah, fuck it. I, what I was going to say is like sour stuff makes you drool a lot. So like oh. as you put the sour Skittles in your mouth, drool in enca- like encases your body, and it that becomes your suit. Ew. Ooh, I can but go it's not for like that. a goopy suit. I but always think about so bad. the feeling, like if I watch like a movie and I have like a huge thing of sour Skittles that like I've ruined the inside of my mouth. Oh yeah. But I'm just like so happy about it. <laughs> just like, yeah, that was a lot of sour Skittles. And that can I'm be proud. one of your, po- what would your powers be? I guess like a kind of like a, maybe like a Care Bear stare, but the effect of it would be I burn them away acid style. 
Okay. So like it looks like a yeah. rainbow coming out of my mouth. Nice. And then it's just melting acid. So of maybe the sour skittle. Maybe your team is a Skittles team. So there's like berries and cream. Uh, That's a Skittle? Wasn't there? I'm a little lad who loves, or is that Starbursts? I'm a little lad who loves berries and cream. Yeah, maybe. Uh, there was I a have creamy. No idea. There was that little lad with the bowl cut, and he was like, "No." What if we went all it was sour? Was the okay thing, and then you can get like the nerds rope sour guy, a sour patch kid, sour patch kid. Warheads would be like the sixth ranger, oh, and, and that's the one. That, like that's the wild card. Yeah, you know, you're always that one's always running away on its own. Yep. It's a villain at first. Yeah, I like that. Why wouldn't they just be different colors? Or yeah, or Skittles, we could each be a color. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Shotgun green. Oh, nice. Wait, is that what it's called? Yeah. The flavors of sour Skittles are fucking intense. You got <laughs> shotgun green. You got shiv yellow. <laughs> Come on. Uh, we got a few more colors. Uh, Roy G. Biv. Machete red. I'm to, yeah, what was that? Machete red. Machete red. I fucking love that one. Uh, garot purple. Oh, nice. Um... I think that is that everyone yellow, blue. Is the, I don't think there's blue. a blue. Is there a blue? I think there green is. sour. Oh. Think I don't right. know about sour. Uh, no, I think there is a blue green sour, uh, and that will be um, ball slapping blue, <laughs> <laughs> sack tap blue, sack tap blue. Guys, we did it. Woo! Oh wait, are we doing improv? No, we're not doing an improv. It's too late to do okay. that. Normally, we end every episode with an improv, but this episode went many directions. Yeah. I didn't even get to learn about the dino handjob. Yeah. Next time. <laughs> oh, I th- explained pretty much everything about it. Oh, there wasn't more to it? Yeah, a friend saw me get a handjob. We invited a friend to watch me get a handjob. That's the extra. Yeah, that's, that's where it's interesting. Yeah, because he was like, didn't have a girlfriend, and we were like, yeah, man, you want to watch this? And, this, and the internet existed, right? Uh, in like Red Tube was just forming when you could watch uh, Open Your Eyes You Can't, those kind of like big dick porns, monster <laughs> cock, like it was a fake penis that would then be used in the Ninja Turtles porn where they all surround uh, in full costume, surround April O'Neil and just whip out these huge penises. They don't have sex with her, they just bukkake her, and it's just like just thick green semen. Uh, there's some like Greek mythology that's like wrapped around uh, the idea of like the, the 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 quest for knowledge and finding true knowledge like melts melts you or like destroys the person who finds it. And sometimes I feel like when I ask like just like a little something, it happens. Like we just went through the history of monster cocks and weird porn. Yeah, guys. Yeah, he's got my face melted. He just wanted to know about your dinosaur peen penal. Oh, penal. <laughs> Melzer, where would you like people to look for your stuff? Um, Yeah, if you would like to check out Todd Groban's Going Away Party, which we talked about a bunch on yeah. this show, it's on YouTube. The channel is Channel Flux with two X's, but you can also just type in Todd Groban's Going Away Party. It's the only Todd Groban's Going Away Party that comes up. Also the only Todd Groban out there. Probably. There is a Josh Groban. Uh, mm-hmm. But he, uh, no one's ever heard of him. No, no, no. And that's Todd with two Ds. Todd with two Ds. Yeah. Ooh. Channel Flux Fucks. Channel Fucks. Bro. Yeah. And if you got Amazon Prime, you can always watch The Street Wizard's Apprentice, which is another series we did with a lot of the same people, and I love it. And then maybe if they're on Vimeo. Yeah. You can check out Morph Bots, The Bots That Morph, which is very in line with the show. That, or the podcast that we're listening to yeah. right now. It is a spoof of Big Bad Beetleborgs where we use mostly the footage from the original show and we re-edit it, redub it, and make it really fucked up. Yeah, and it's freaking it's hilarious. Great. Uh, Nicole, what yeah. you got to plug? Um, you know, just darlinghomebody.com. Whoop. And you can also now go to patreon.com slash darlinghomebody to get some red fucking stickers, which I have now decided our patreon exclusive so if you want it you have to sign up for patreon that's the only way or like if i have stuff left over i'll probably bring it to like events that i have a table at or whatever but and i'm so glad she said this into a microphone because you better believe this was like a 30 minute discussion she had going back and forth of like uh what what do i do well i couldn't decide if i should like put the leftovers up in my like online store or if I should just make it exclusive. Exclusives. 
Because, uh, I don't know. I say Skloosies, and that's what she did. And it's Skloosies, we decided. Guys, I would love to give a big shout out to our good friend Shane. He's a fan of Hit It and Crit It. He donated to help us get these windscreens that are on microphones. Yeah. You didn't hear that at all at home. No, they heard something, but it wasn't bassy at all. If you would like to donate. Yeah, guys. uh, If you would like to donate, (laughs) it's late, guys, and hell is hot. If DMX. you would like to donate, go to mlmpod.com forward slash donate. Also, go there to find out about my other podcasts, such as This Movie's Gay, What the Hell Mouth, and Hit It and Crit It. Or if you'd like to download my rap music, which, as some have said, is better than it needs to be, <laughs> uh, go there to listen to Marshland Monster. You can download all of my CDs for free. You can also find that on SoundCloud, YouTube, or whatever. Speaking of YouTube, you better believe I'm back with mostly Play and PlayStation. I'm doing Let's Plays. It's better quality as a super rad intro now. For the first two weeks, every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, Nicole is my guest. We're playing a PlayStation 1 game called Shadow Tower. It's very scary and very, very, (laughs) very, very difficult. Then uh, guests we have lined up is uh, we're playing Wheel of Fortune with the Hit It and Crit It Boys. And then Sean Marciniak, uh, he's coming over. We're playing Duke Nukem Forever. Boom. And Monster Rancher Hop About. You can find that on the Mostly Speaking Sentai YouTube channel. Links in the description. Just please like it, comment, subscribe, and tell a freaking friend about these podcasts. Melzer, as always, we love hanging out with you. Thanks for having me on. Uh, we love. We found out that you're adopted. We didn't know that about yeah. you. Found out about your, your dinosaur wiener. I yeah. could have swore you knew about that. Uh, dino I feel dingus. Like you, since I've met you, you say that about all shocking things you say to me. <laughs> yeah. I thought you knew about, uh, oh, I was going to say, uh, just giving someone drugs doesn't mean they're going to take it because my brother did give me many sleeves of Coracedon to me and Dakota Rust. And we did not do them. We were like, uh, this just seems like we're going down a bad path. Did you take them? We took them, kept it in our pocket. Then I gave them back to my brother. And said, oh, I don't want this. Noble. No, you should have like thrown them special. away. Hey, I wasn't thinking about my brother's health back then. Uh, you were just a child. Yeah, guys. Uh, I've been James. I've been Nicole. I'm Elzer. Oh, and listen to- uh, I'm Todd Groban. Oh, I was going to say, oh, <laughs> and watch Todd Groban's going away party. And we've been Mostly, Mostly Speaking Sentai. Sentai. Bye-bye. Yeah, the Jeff got them planners, them planners about to nut. Yeah, yeah, you see this girl be on that cover shit Marvelous, her cartilage is filled up with some walnut shit Yeah, it's peanut butter pussy time She drinking my jizz with lemon lime I always dine on peanut wine Spread on bread, she's fucking fine Yeah, 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 yeah She's got that pussy that'll turn you wild and diabetic Got a tree nut allergy Grab a medic when you spread it Get an EpiPen cause you're prepping for when that Peanut butter pussy ain't a flexion yeah. She's not gonna test your straight up molest you Getting protein like cannibal vector Peanut butter pussy Peanut butter pussy Peanut butter pussy Cause it's sticky and good Peanut butter pussy Peanut butter pussy Peanut butter pussy Cause it's sticky and good Come here, girl, let me crack that shell to get to the nuts Sticky butt that makes you strut Make my lunch with the crust cut Butter up, munch on that muff I snack so sloppy, got peanuts in my scruff I can't get enough of a peanut butter stuffed cream puff Peter Pan, man, I'm in the jam, goddamn Give it some heat, make the oils excrete Wanna slather it on my celery and ham Slide over here, girl, get to the peanut cracking Got my cane in my nickel, gonna give that shell a smack it. Make my pussy clean, boy, you better do it well. Like a plane, you lick the roof of your mouth, it makes my penis swell. Make it smooth, so smooth, but pussy don't get wet. Like a plane, you lick the roof of your mouth, it makes my penis swell. Make it smooth, so smooth, but pussy don't get wet. Like on the show and tell the sass and then a metaphor. I have peanut butter in my puss. In my puss. I have peanut butter, I have peanut butter.